Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import uh, audio files from a CD into Cubase 5. Uh, and this is actually the same uh, through most of the Cubases that I remember, even through SX1 even. It's, it's pretty similar. So um, first thing, of course, we've got Cubase 5 up here. And I've already got a project open, and uh, it's just empty right now. But uh, all you have to do is go into File, and then Import Audio CD. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pop the CD in the drive here. May take a second to uh, read the disk. And of course, your computer might be set up to uh, automatically uh, uh, give you a choice of things. So if uh, if it throws up a uh, a window other than Cubase, you can just close it down. But as you can see here, I've got mine disabled for that. So nothing. Uh, popped up except for what we have our dialog here in the Cubase thing which this CD happens to have the songs uh, titled on it so all we'd have to do is uh, check the songs we want of course if we hit uh, shift or uh, yes the shift key and then click to the next it's going to do all the ones in between uh, which is uh, a very basic thing this is a similar thing with editing or all kinds of stuff uh, any kind of file selection um, if you hold the control key and click you can just grab the ones you want so uh, I'm actually just gonna grab this one right now and it'll give you your speed here and all kinds of good stuff you can actually demo it here if you want to hear what it is first okay um, so okay that's all uh, we've got it selected what we want here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy and it will import it in there. While that's loading up, I'll uh, tell you about uh, a tech blog I'm going to try to start get rolling here. It's going to be techblog.haroldnixon.com and it's not just going to be audio related, it's going to be all kinds of little things that I thought was uh, pretty neat. Uh, a lot of the stuff I've learned from watching uh, uh, phenomenal instruction videos on uh, YouTube and of course, other websites before uh, YouTube really become popular, but uh, it's a really neat outlet that uh, I'd just like to share some neat things with you. So we're almost done here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and hit OK here, and you can see it imported the song right here. So we'll go ahead and play some. Of course, the sample rate's messed up where I had the uh, project set up in uh, at 48 and of course that uh, off the CD was 44.1 so that's something you'll have to be mindful of so you would have and it gives us a perfect opportunity to show you so say we want to convert the sample rate what we'll do is we'll go into the audio pool here and uh, open up the audio or, uh, folder there we see our Wolf Creek Pass here and it's at 44.1 at 16 bit and of course that's the standard CD quality so what we can do is right click on that and we can say uh, conform files and basically what it does is it converts them to whatever the project is set up at and we can keep the original or we can replace it I'm just gonna go ahead and say replace you can not undo this so I'll proceed and that should convert that and now it should show 48 and I think it was 24 bit yeah all right so you can see it right there so now if we go back in here and play it should sound correct uh, let me turn the volume down here a little bit and that's it 